as a whole, we're opposed to it. We believe it's going to be overcrowded. We believe it um, it forms a very similar... Um, it gives the impression of being a detention facility, effectively. Now, we can say, well, the asylum seekers are free to come and go. Yes, they kind of are and kind of not. So they're in a secure port. They can only go via the buses that leave on the hour, every hour, up until 11 o'clock at night. So they have to use the designated transport because of the security within the port. They have to go through two airport-style security checkpoints going out and in. Mm. We've seen how confined the spaces are, to all intents and purposes, to many of those who've previously been detained and in some aspects tortured, in some cases tortured, this resembles a detention facility. So, Steve, 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 the, I mean, some of these people will be here illegally and you're worried about the bus route? I'm not worried about the bus routes. I'm worried about the fact that this resembles a well, detention. You just mentioned the bus routes. I mean, t t I mean, it may well be a form of detention until people are processed, but you can come and go. You can come and go using the buses. Yes, that's true. But that's the only way you can come and go. So, given well, right. that... Well, what do most people, how, how do most residents in an area come and go? They use public well, transit. Unless you think you're suggesting we give everybody a car or something. It may be absurd. Most residents who are living in a city or a town or a village, right. a hotel, can walk out of the doors and walk around in, in the open air. What they can't do on this barge is easily do that because they're in a secure area. So you, you can walk out and get some open... I mean, what are you, what are you suggesting here? I mean, I, I mean to, to many people, they'll be okay. scratching their heads, Steve, on this, thinking, what is this man talking about? What I'm suggesting is this is an inappropriate way to house people who, in many cases, have been subject to detention and torture. It's clear... Well, you, I mean, you, just on that point, and we raised this at the very beginning, I think many of us have a question over the idea that somebody has escaped a, ty a tyrannical regime, a brutal regime where uh, torture, uh, routine imprisonment, all manner of other horrendous uh, acts and criminality carried out against individuals, barbarity from government and all of that. And you escape that, you flee that, you get away from that. Who wouldn't want to? And yet when you get to a safe country, i.e. the UK, you complain about the bus routes? Are you for real, Steve? Who's complaining about the bus routes? Nobody's complaining you about the bus routes. You were just about the bus routes. complaining about the bus routes. No, you, you've co completely misquoted me. What I was talking about with the buses, I was saying that the only way in and out is via a bus. So they don't have the freedom to walk around, just leave the barge. What I'm saying is that this is resembling a detention facility which could re-traumatise those who have previously been detained. I mean, these are, as you well know, these are largely economic migrants, and I don't, I don't say that as a pejorative I don't, I, at all. I don't think they're criminals. I don't think they're here to scrounge. I get all of that. What do you mean they're largely economic migrants? What are you basing that on? I, 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 you, you've, you've never done this level of research. You've never looked.